Hi, this is how you play hide and seek extreme. So the first thing you want to do is press on the hide and seek extreme on Roblox and then you can join the game. And what will happen is it will send you into a game and it will just load for a moment. And then it will pick someone to be the seeker and um, a map to play the hide and seek game in. And yeah, once it has a it person, you're just launched right into the game. And... You only have like a minute to hide, so you gotta make uh, that minute worthwhile and you gotta look for the right spot the whole time. And you can see how far this the, the seeker is away from you in the bottom corner, but it got cut off. But you can see it sometimes and then you can tell if they're gonna be close or not. So anyway... What you want to do is you want to find a really good hiding spot that you don't think the seeker will find you in. So you gotta like run away and not follow the crowd because then it'll be obvious where you're going. So yeah, you're just gonna run and find a hiding spot. And once the time is up, then the high the seeker is released and everything you gotta be more careful because then they can find you. You only have four minutes that you have to survive before you win and um, if everyone is caught then the seeker wins but if not everyone is caught then the hiders win. So you gotta try and win for your team. Right here, you can see I am doing a strategy and just running all over the place so it is not obvious where I am. And then you'll never know where I am because if I'm all over the place, then there's not one certain place to come looking for. So this is a very good strategy. Sometimes it doesn't work though because, I don't know, sometimes it's not very good. Um, what I'm doing here is running away again because the hider or the seeker was really close and I need to run away and that's what you gotta do when, um, the seeker is close. Also, there's a shop in this game and you gotta collect credits by, um, when you hide, you... If you win, like if the seeker doesn't find you, then you get credits. And if you are a seeker, or the seeker, then for every person you find, you get more tokens. And then you can spend those in the shop and buy cool skins and fun things for when you're it. And sometimes there's teleporty thingies in this game. So like if you need a quick getaway, you can just teleport. And that's really useful. They also have jump pads, which is also pretty cool. So, you can taunt the seeker and then they can like come and find you, but like that's only for when you're if you're bored. So, yeah. You can taunt them and then it'll make a little noise. It'll be like, bye, and then it'll wave and give away your spot. But sometimes that's fun just to trick the seeker. You can also spectate the seeker when you are a hider. And then so you can see where they are if they're close to you. So that's really a helpful feature and I would suggest using it. And usually at the end of the games, I just like to go out in the open and like be like, haha, you didn't find me. 
to the seeker so that's what I'm doing here And then now, once the game is ending, and now it's like over, since I didn't get caught, I got 10 credits to spend at the store. And that's how you play this hide and seek game.